Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I want to talk about what you can do to make sure that you have ExpressVPN ready for China. So I'll talk about why you need Express for China and why you need a VPN in the first place in China if you're not familiar. And also talk about how you can use ExpressVPN. It's actually a very simple procedure and we'll get to it. Okay, now if you guys are interested in just going straight to the pricing or discounts uh, or even the full review, you'll find everything you need in the description down below. Okay, now the reason you need a VPN for China is you may already be familiar with the Great Firewall of China. Now, the Great Firewall of China is essentially what causes all of the censorship. It's basically the filter that determines what and what you cannot see on the internet while you're in China. So this is where a VPN comes in because when you're in China or if you're going to China, having ExpressVPN is essentially going to make sure that you still have access to the global internet and not the censored version of it in China. So of course, if you go to China, using a VPN is going to be necessary so that you can access your perhaps bank account, all of the social media, I think also YouTube. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp, everything that you're used to is essentially going to be different in China because it doesn't exist because it's censored. And so a VPN is essentially going to make it very simple for you to use uh, the free internet in China. Now, the reason I choose ExpressVPN is because essentially this is the best VPN for China. And there are a bunch of reasons for that, honestly, not just because it's incredibly easy to use. So let's say you downloaded it on any of your devices. You can just simply, you know, go to the locations and hit any of these servers and it'll choose it and you can just turn it on like that and that's basically it though you do want to understand a little bit about the features before you do that so as you can tell we have the kill switch which is called network lock and split tunneling now the kill switch is going to stop your internet connection if the vpn disconnects unexpectedly so this is going to be very useful if let's say you're in china and your vpn disconnects for whatever reason it'll also disconnect you from the internet so that the ccp the ISP or the government or whoever it is in China won't be able to know what you're doing online uh, because you're not going to be connected to the internet in the first place unless the VPN is on. This is basically what the kill switch does. Now, split tunneling is going to allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So let's say you only want your Google Chrome to use the VPN in China. Uh, while everything else is still left on the Chinese network. But you can also select specific applications to not use the VPN uh, while the rest can use the VPN. So for example, if you don't care about using a VPN for something uh, that needs local networks in China, then you can go ahead and do that. Because let's say there's a specific application that needs um, a Chinese IP address for it to work, then you can kind of exclude that application using split tunneling. Split tunneling is unfortunately unavailable on iOS and Mac, so keep that in mind. And besides that, you can just use advanced protection to block any malicious stuff. And if you go to the protocols, in China, I would just recommend to keep this on automatic. Um, and in this case, you won't be able to turn on uh, advanced protection, but that's fine. You can just uh, turn all of this off and go to protocols and keep it on automatic just to make sure that you have access to open VPN because you will probably need these in China, these open VPN protocols. Now, what you can do to be prepared is obviously download Express VPN before you go to China. Um, and as far as the credibility on whether or not Express works in China, it's basically the most reliable. It's very easy to use. It's as much of a plug and play VPN as it can get. Honestly, most VPNs will require a lot of of, uh, manual configuration to get them to work through the Great Firewall of China. But with ExpressVPN, you really don't have to do any of that. Um, just download it before you get to China. And if you are in China, you can use the URL on the screen, which I'll also leave below. This is an alternative URL that ExpressVPN provides for people that live in China so they can still download ExpressVPN. But if you're not in China, I'd recommend downloading it before you get to China. And once you're in China, you can go ahead and use the VPN as normal. So that is basically it as far as what a VPN does and why you need Express specifically in China. As far as how to use it, again, I explained to you the kill switch, split tunneling, what protocols are, and where the locations are. And this is basically why I like to use ExpressVPN. It is that simple. 
It commercializes VPNs in a way that makes it very user-friendly for everybody. So ExpressVPN ends up being a very effective VPN because you have the high performance that attracts people like me that already know about VPNs. So I just use ExpressVPN because it works really well. And it also attracts beginners because of its simple interface and the way it works it's just very effective it works with streaming services it allows for torrenting without any bandwidth limitations or throttling and you can be sure that they will not share your data because they do have a no locks policy that was actually proven not only by independent audit reports which are usually uh quite a bit enough to prove that a vpn has a true no locks policy that is being upheld but they also have a real life incident in 2017 when the Turkish government seized an ExpressVPN server, but they were still unable to extract anything out of the server thanks to ExpressVPN's true no logs policy. So you can be sure that ExpressVPN is just not going to share information with anybody, even if their servers were seized because, well, they don't have any information about you in the first place. So that's just great. And that's why I recommend ExpressVPN for China specifically, or not just China. I mean, it works great for all the other countries, but for China specifically, if you're looking for a VPN that works reliably and consistently there more than any other VPN out there, I would just recommend ExpressVPN. And also, if you're not living in China and you just want a reliable VPN, ExpressVPN also works perfectly fine. Uh, and in case you end up going to a country with censorship, you know you'll be set because this application will always give you access to the free internet the way you're used to. So that's basically it for this video. And again, if you guys are interested in Express, you'll find the full review and links to pricing and discounts in the description down below. Now, regarding pricing, I did ask ExpressVPN out of curiosity, and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more money on monthly renewals than they would have with the yearly plan. Because the typical pattern is that people renew monthly, thinking they might not need a VPN long term, which is understandable. So unfortunately, they end up spending more money on the monthly plan with the higher monthly rate than they would have going with the yearly plan, which significantly lowers the rate almost by 50%, as you can tell here, especially with this discount below, which will give you these three extra months for free. Uh, so ultimately, if you know you're not going to need Express for longer than a month, definitely get the month plan. But if there's a chance you might end up using it longer than a month, you might want to go with a longer term plan. Then if you change your mind or realize you won't need it that long, you can always get a refund during the first 30 days and go back to just a month at a time plan. And so that settles it for today. Again, you'll find the discount down below and please comment below as well if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.